What is up, DD fam? I'm on my way to the HQ, bringing you guys with me. Dave just hit me up and said he just got a massive update on the fate of the Daily Driven Exotics headquarters. Now, if you don't remember, the city of Huntington Beach required us to do some updates with the engineering of this building. This building's like 35 years old, so it had some engineering updates that needed to be done because of the earthquake situation and all of that. We were working with the landlord to get that sorted, and we finally, after after a year and a half, almost two years, of painstaking back and forth with the city, have the engineering plans. And while some of them are good, there is a huge downside. Now Dave's gonna explain all when we get there. I just picked up my afternoon latte. Keep the energy up. Look at these skills that pay the bills. Holding a coffee level while turning the car. You see that again? Look at that. Oh, 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 am I gonna scrape though? Oh, I didn't scrape. Nice parking job, by the way, Dave. Look at this. You drive a Hummer, and well, you actually can park just about anywhere, any way you like. Let's go inside and see what the fuss is all about. This is our main place of business, as you guys know. This is where we build the cars, this is where we store the cars, this is where we shoot a lot of our content. And Dave said, well, the news is good. There's some serious downside. Hello, hello. I don't know where everybody is. By the way, here's the good news. Look at the DDHQ right now, you guys. Look at how this is set up. We have a car under every single one of the lifts. The Murcielago is here with that amazing blue interior. By the way, I have some amazing updates for this car coming to you guys. We got Goldilocks sitting here next to it. The Lambo row. We actually should have this Lambo here, but you know what? We got a little McLaren interference, the GT4. We have the Evo 2, of course, looking stunning in that Innozatec super gloss. The DD 720 GTR pink. Boom! Nailed that. We got my practice car with the training wheels, apparently. Getting done at some point. I believe uh, Tim's working diligently on that. We have the F12 in the back room coming along. And look at this. We actually have an HVAC system with air conditioning. How are you guys? Yo. Yo. How are you, F7? Good. How are those uh, manifolds coming along? Real easy, right? They're going. Yeah, yeah. they're going. They're folding. Marky Mark? What's happening? What's happening? What's up, brother? Hello. What's up, air conditioning? And how are AC you, Tim. Mr. Right. Race Car? Where's right. Dave? No idea. That's a good question. David, I'm here. Daddy's home. I heard screaming. I did hear screaming too. That's, that sounds like Dave. This thing is almost ready to be shipped over to the Philippines. There was a major request for air conditioning. It's been a major struggle, but I believe we are at the tail end of this, yes? I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a nightmare. Yeah. We got that aftermarket system. Tim put it in. He got some custom lines made today, so that'll connect that system to the Ferrari stuff. Uh, we got to recharge the system. Cross your fingers and hope that it works. Cross your fingers, guys. We want this car to go to its new home, and uh, we also want to go to the Philippines with the car. That would be fun. Great delivery video. I'm gonna go find David of the Coulter. Also, we need to talk about. When do we get to do another track day? Cause I'm addicted. I am absolutely addicted to driving race cars. I should have taken Michael's advice and driven the GT4 that day at Laguna Seca on the Sunday when there was the noise restrictions. My ego is all tied up in the, in the Lamborghini and I went out and got three laps and then got meatballed and kicked off. But this car, I just need some more seat time in. I'm starting to slowly, slowly after seven track days get a little bit of confidence behind the wheel. So now I need to start to learn how to push it a little bit more, which requires another track day. Yep. What track would you like to do next? What should we do? Um, I think we should go to Button Willow. I love Button Willow. Also, Dave drove his Goldilocks at Button Willow, and he said that was his favorite track. It's a really fun track. Like it's it's absolutely terrible to be at that track. It is in the middle of nowhere. Like there's nothing dust there. Dust clouds. There's nothing out there. It smells like cows. But driving is awesome. Like it's just a really fun track. Yeah. And it has a good setup. There's some high speed corners. There's some like really slow speed kind of corners. So you get a good variety of stuff. It does smell like cow poo poo. Let's go find this guy, David. David Coulter. Where are you, David? Hello? In, in your office. You're in the bathroom? Yeah. You're in your office. So what's this update you have oh, about oh, the, the HQ? What? Yeah, uh, it's not a good one. You said that it was good engineering design. Well, the it's, downtime. it's more than, yeah, do you wanna talk about it right now? There's a lot to it. 
I know so, a okay, lot. So, so backstory, if you haven't noticed or watched the videos to find out, when we leased this building almost two years ago, yes. I applied for occupancy to legally operate a business in occupancy. We're not really selling anything here, so it's kind of different. They're kind of lenient on it because we don't have customers. But eventually, like, okay, let's get this done. Turns out the mezzanine, that big upstairs area, was never approved by the city to be built from like Ooh, 30 years ago. That's a no-no. So we don't own this building, we leased it. The landlord had to go to the city and explain the drawings and all that. An architect came in, that took six months. There was videos on it. He came back saying they can't approve this building for business use in its current form. We do have a business license. We are compliant in the meantime. They know we're working on it, so we're allowed to operate, but we do have to fix a problem. And by we, the landlord has to pay for it. Now, in order to get it up to code, they have to completely tear it down. Tear down what? The building? The, uh, no. <laughs> uh, Can you here. imagine? So they got to tear down the mezzanine oh, and they got to rebuild the structural parts of the back room. Well, and we mezzanine. talked about them having to put in like concrete footers along the wall to support the wall, which we kind of knew. So I'm trying to understand what's the good news? Because you said something was good news. Like there was going to be more, there's, there's going to be more room. I'll get to the good news. Let's talk about the bad first. Yeah. So originally when this was built back in 1983, yeah. the mezzanine was built and there was these pillars here to support the mezzanine Correct. above us. And we learned that there was actually six pillars. There was somebody along here, right here, you see this? Yeah. Somebody to make more room back here and cut them out, which caused sag in the roof. Yeah, they used to be bolted to the metal right there that you can almost just see. Originally, they were gonna add more concrete to the walls. Yeah. Cut down. We can't do that. They have to tear out the mezzanine and put a big steel I-beam from that length of the building all the way in the roof. An I-beam? Big piece of metal. Steel. Steel. So what's the benefit of that? There'll be no columns back here at all. So these will all be gone. Oh, there'll be no posts. So we'll be able to be back here working, but we haven't seen Mike, uh, with no posts, which <laughs> means you can get more cars back here. So you could really bring more cars all the way in here. That's actually good news. Did you hear yeah. that? There's not going to be any posts in here when they're done doing the update. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. That's so sick. So what happens to the upstairs that's above this? This is what is our little ceiling, but it's you can actually go and stand up top. And rebuild. So they are gonna rebuild it because we are paying for that as square footage. So when we did our lease, the mezzanine was included under square footage, which means they have to honor that in our lease to maintain that square footage, it's like 2,000 square feet. The downside is, is that everything up there has to be removed. All the parts. We'll turn it out. All the tires. Mm. Everything. And it has to go somewhere. Somewhere. Where are we putting it all? But worse, worse than that, we're still on the bad news bears train here for a second. Worse than that, back here, everything has to be removed. Everything. All the machines and we just set up. The table has to go. Everything we set up, dude. Uh, there's 700 gallons of water in that plasma table. And it took forever and, to set up. Yeah, and also you can't just drain it like onto the floor. So we have to buy like a pump or something and hose to pump it how, how do you do? Issue. How do you deal with all this? Well, the bigger issue is how long will that take? How long will it take? So what do we do? We just leave the HQ or get evicted for two months while they rebuild all this? We're not getting evicted. Well, I know we're not getting. I'm just using some dramatic terms here. Um, just trying to think of what would Dave we're say. Being, we're, we're being. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is we can't stay here and do business while they do that because there's no way in this room except for through the front of the garage. So if we go walk back out this way, the only way they're gonna get workers in here and machines and everything required to put this together is through these doors, which really needs to come through the front of the garage, which really means none of these cars can actually stay in here either due to the risk of being damaged and just in general being severely covered in dirt and concrete powder. I don't want any of that on my car. There's, there's yeah. more, there's more to it than that. So these stairs will get removed. This uh, little jetway up here, that'll be removed. What are the stairs they're gonna tear up? These are called witch stairs and they're not to code for a few reasons. It's obvious. Every person that comes here almost dies on them. I've almost fallen a few times because the first step is like with your right foot and naturally it's the left foot. So these stairs have to be replaced. In order to do that, they have to go at a different angle. In order to do that, that wall is getting torn down. That wall? That whole wall. Fight. This wall is going to be gone. I almost just fell down. Yeah, so this entire wall that goes into that room where we have the couch and the video game, this wall and the roof above it gets torn out. So technically the shop's going to get bigger, but we're going to lose space that we don't really use for anything yet. But we wanted to build that as like the cool like hangout room. That's gone. What? The That's hangout gone. room's gone, Tim. It's gone forever. What happens, Tim? What? What? <laughs> What are you doing, Tim? <laughs> Tim, what are you, stop throwing things. <laughs> so, Tim's very upset so right now. <laughs> we have to decide, there's, there's more we'll get to in a minute. We have to decide, is that a benefit? Do we want to do that? Do you want to fight to have this maintained? Because to me- I want to fight, I love fighting. So from a code perspective, they can't change where the stairs are based on, I don't know why, but the stairs can't change the exit point. Yeah. But the new stairs are coming to about here. Why do you lose yeah. 
I'm not happy. You're good. And then, uh, yeah, so that'll all get torn out. Now, what we could do is move this two post. Yes. Part of that space. To open this area up. I actually have two two posts, like front and rear. Four or posts. three two posts. Mm -hmm. Three mm -hmm. posts. Or four that, two posts. That won't work. <laughs> that won't work. If we move this, though, that's huge. Like, if they move this wall, Gone. And the it, wall's done. So it's just, they're not even going to put another wall back. They can't, because the stairs are going to come all the way to the bottom there. So you no, no, but I mean, if they put a wall that's five feet farther or something. Gone. In fact, the few, there's more changes in that room. So this is not like just that. It is almost the whole Shop. HQ that's getting Correct. changed. That sucks. That's a, it, we I spent all two right. years of our life getting to a place where we got the floors done three Ooh. times, the walls painted, everything in here, the lights put in, the and it's Dude, still yeah, we, the electrical, the air, yeah, the we fact just spent that 20 something thousand dollars in that back room doing air and electrical. And more importantly, <laughs> I let those guys deal with that. I have cars here. Like, how sick is it that we actually have cars in the HQ for the first time, and we have more cars coming, and we have nowhere to put them? Because if we were out of our shop for two months, that is a serious inconvenience. Because well, I don't know where to put 10, 11 cars. You, you Actually, more than that. Now. The dually, the trailer, the Hummer, the van. What do we do with all the cars? Right now, let's say, let's say just argument's sake, which probably can't. All the cars went in lifts and then they wrapped them in plastic. No. Dude, that's then you, so dangerous. But then you can't access your cars. What happens if someone, because to bring all the equipment in here that they're going to be using, to be putting in a beam and all this crazy stuff. Oh, there's got to be big lifts and like serious equipment, yeah. not just like people moving with I'm not leaving anything here. The other thing is, I don't want to be out of the use of our cars to create content, even one of them. I, I might not drive this every day, but if what if we want to go do a track day? Yeah. Now we get to come here in the middle of a construction zone and pull a car off of a lift. Oh, by the way, how do you get it off the lift? Because there'll be no air. Yeah, we also have the to air move will be gone. all of that equipment probably out here, right? Oh yeah. So once that stuff is out here, this area will be full anyway. And by the way, we're not making any of this up. I know Dave likes to sometimes make things up. Hey, it was one time. Give the guy a break. This is all very real, and it's been ongoing for the better part of just about two years. Because it was about 60 or 90 days into being here that the city showed up and told us that this place wasn't properly permitted. And that's when we found out. Dude, there's more surprises. What? Good thing, maybe? This entryway is being expanded. Oh, so it'll be bigger. How much bigger? Oh, that's sick. It'll be, it won't be a separate, it'll be open. You actually, you actually can't do this. So it'll just be open all the time? Ventilation issues and things like that. Well, it is code. Yeah. Or ventilation yeah, back there. Would Maybe we get them to put some fans, like evacuation fans so in the back, because right now it's, uh, it's bad. Listen, Mike, it's not about your needs right now. <laughs> it's about our needs. The benefit is that when you put a car back here, you can literally have room to kind of pull it back in. There'll be no more calls that, back there. Yeah. Well, that's going to be- The uh, drift master here will just slide it in. I would, slide a, I would slide a car through it right now. I could slide a Huracan through there. All you'd have to do is get the nose in, and then as soon as the back end's right, up, right around here, you just hammer it and it would just step out and slide perfectly in. Mm -hmm. Just watch out for that. Have, you not, see, have you not seen my I'm, Alex Choi's mom garage I have, video? I want to see it. I'm ready. Yeah, I got skills I'm ready to pay the, the bill. The Let's do Maybe it. not quite at this guy's level. <laughs> How much crap do we have in the mezzanine to move? How many tires do we have there right now? Let's go look. There's not that much stuff up there. These are dangerous as hell. Okay. <sighs> Let's see how much stuff we have. Oh, there's a lot more stuff up here than I remember. Even the yeah. shelves have to come out. I mean, this, this is getting torn down. This is all gonna be removed. Are there lights up here still? They're on. That's it? No. So all of this has to go. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, like all of this Holy stuff. Holy crap, has look to at get all the parts. There. Well, there's an F12 over there. Why didn't you, why'd you guys put so much stuff up here? Uh, we didn't have anywhere else to put it. Just the tires, dude. So yeah, we, we there's quite a few yeah, tires. They want to start this January 2nd. That's a, <laughs> that's a month from now. <laughs> oh, wow. A new HQ for a few months? Dude, I, I don't love this place. What? So that wall's gonna be gone. These stairs will be done. We'll have new stairs, okay. redone the mezzanine, hopefully some better lighting. But to get all this accomplished and no post downstairs in the fab room. So if you're watching this and you're a contractor, comment below how long, they told, they told me a few months. But realistically, if you know what you're doing, this is commercial, this is in California, you have government inspections on multiple levels, you have earthquake structuring and engineering, you have electrical structure engineering, you have plumbing, you have uh, California, like the plastic laws that come into effect. Like, there's a multiple departments to sign off after it's done. Yeah. So how long will it take? They're telling me two months. There's no way this takes two months. Dude, that is, how many people are gonna be working on it? 
for two I, months. I, I That's like, it's all about the, the manpower, right? If they're gonna bring in a crew of 20 something people, maybe. Okay. From what I've seen, construction jobs always start out really strong. And then it's like, all right, pull everybody off that job because we got that job now maybe, and it's yeah, secured yeah, 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 and we yeah. could drag it out for a while. Will that be a problem? Yeah. Because we're currently operating a business as of right now and I'm trying not to die on these stairs. This is the sketchiest part of this whole building. You know, contrary to belief, it's actually not Mark's driving. Now the drawings here, and there's more to it, involving the, they called it a boardroom. So at one point, the boardroom means, you guys keep coming with me. This room's really gonna change a lot. The biggest change immediately is right here, this doorway. The doorway is being moved. Does that matter? I don't know yet, I haven't really thought about so it. Is the shop. This is where the two post lift is. Correct. Correct, so, so that wall's gone, roof is gone, the door will be gone. Like how much of this roof, like the whole thing? That wall. So the whole roof and nothing but the roof will be gone. So approximately this point and tied straight up. So there'll be like a 20 foot ceiling in oh, here. High ceiling. The downside is, is this guy right here is stained. Cause it actually supports structure of the building. That's so not this the goes mezzanine. All the way to the roof. All the way up. For all you guys watching this right now, we have some really fun updates on the cars, which I'm gonna get to. It's pretty boring right now. Talking about how the shop's gonna get torn apart. It's a little bit depressing. I understand. It's actually breaking my heart a little bit. I'd also like to clarify something, not to beat a dead horse. All the people from the city that came here in the past were really from the city. They were not paid actors. I swear on my children's life, just to be clear. Okay, so can you get you on? That doorway there is being moved to right here. What? Yeah. Wait, what? That doorway right there is being moved to right there. Okay. Why? I don't know, it's in the drawing. It makes no sense. sense. This post right here is that post right there. And that office right there is Mike's office. It's like this. So that post stays, doorway gets moved to here. That's well, the we're pointing at this. Post. On Monday, I will be taking the messy lago to our very good friends up at Gintani. Now we're gonna go to their old shop because they've been working diligently on building their new shop. Guess what? Alex has had some serious problems building his new shop. Very much like ours, but actually bigger problems. They're the worst because he has no money. <laughs> It's all family money. He just hasn't earned it. But good news is, guys, old shop, we're going there, we're gonna straight pipe the Mercy along. Yes! And we're gonna give it a crazy flame tune. Yes. That is car update number one, and I have a few more for you. So Dave, continue on with the depressing story you were telling. So there's the new drawing, <clears throat> that's the plan. We have one month and then we're homeless. So what do we do in the meantime? How do we do the F12 build? My Bentley and GT3 build, that's a priority. How do we do Damon's shoe collection storage? We gotta move all that. I don't have a shoe collection. Not anymore, you don't. So you don't have to pay rent for a couple months. No, we do pay rent. What? We oh. still pay rent. Why would we pay Oh rent? yeah. When you do triple net, when you lease a commercial building, you pay property taxes, you pay strata fees, you pay hydro, you pay everything. The landlord doesn't pay anything. So basically you have are all- Are we paying the internet here? Everything. Why are we paying we for pay the for internet? Of course, dude. We paid for I thought it was all money. inclusive, like a Mexico trip. Yep. Who pays for the tacos? tacos? Did you get some more hot sauce finally? Oh, I did not. Is it Tuesday? We didn't go to Walmart too. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. All right, cool. I just want to make sure we didn't miss out on the time. So now what? Jokes aside, I don't I have no idea. Forget building the car, where we store the freaking cars. Hey, can they reno the kitchen? Because I love the kitchen, but it could use a little update. Straight pipe coming very, very soon. Flame tune, be excited for that. This car is Dave's problem. This car is also Dave's problem, but we do need to fix the start button. Nope. Apparently there was an issue with the race car where it wasn't starting. You gotta, you just mm, hit the button a bunch. Sometimes it starts. You gotta finger his car. Cool. Evo 2, we have some fun things for this car planned. Stay tuned. I don't want to give them away. Update coming. This car, when will this car actually be running so we can go out and you can train me with the training wheels on how to properly drift a car that's gonna resemble somehow something close to me being able to control that monster. Close, close, close. I almost dropped the camera there. Yeah, I was See like, that? wow. Is the engine blowing that? It was a uh, cam that seized. Cam? You, who blew cam? Camshaft. What? Camshaft. Cam shaft got cam blown? Shaft. So it was it fixed? Who blew cam shaft? We worked so hard to getting these cars here and we have other cars coming. The Senna is gonna come back. The SVJ is on its way back to the HQ. The 720 GTR will also be done next month when this is supposed to get started. And that'll be brand spanking new bodywork, paint, everything. Then on top of that, we also have the 599. Where is that car? 
Oh my god, I screwed up so bad. No, but you were bringing it down here. Yeah, so I brought it back to Canada for a little bit, over in the summer, and then I washed it back down. Carlos was busy. He's like, I get the blame. Carlos is always busy. So was he like, like starting his new scarf store? He's like, I can get the blame for you. We can just store it there at my friend's garage. And I was like, okay. So I got the blame, I forgot. So, anyways, it's getting picked up tomorrow, It'll be here in two days. Oh, okay. so it's on its way down. It's on its way down. I was wondering why it was taking so long. Five that car's on its way down. And, 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 Yes. About to say, that is the intermediate project that while that car, once you get it running and tuned and dialed in, we can also have a project that you can work on. No, 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 coming down for Christmas yeah. and we're doing it Christmas morning. Bring your kids by, get the tree out and we'll build the car. Nice, so yeah, we'll just open. Here's your new present, kids. A 599 you get to work on. Can you keep it? No. Can you drive it? No. But you get to be here while we work on it. So enjoy this. That's awesome. Fly on set, sweetheart. We're filming. <laughs> when are you going to reveal the next project? When are you going to reveal the next Next project. Damon gave me the green light to spend some money, so we were going shopping. I did not give you a green light to spend any money. You did, we talked about it like two weeks ago. You said just buy it. We are buying, buying my in? dream Bentley this week. It's gonna happen. Okay, what it takes, we're going Bentley shopping, it's gonna happen, we're doing this. It is true, I did give him permission for this. The problem is, I instantly regretted it. Here you go. Sounds like my first marriage. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're in a bad marriage, very still have a solution for you. So in the meantime. It's actually true, he does. In the meantime, uh, Five Nine will be here, project we can do over the holidays. 2024 is gonna be stupid awesome. Yeah, Dude, the start of it sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Blow out this I think, wall, I think, put in an I-beam, we'll have all the cars here. We have one more option. Okay. What's the other option? We have one more option. This is actually isn't bullshit. Could, using this opportunity, exit or lease and find a new HQ. We could do it. This is the time we want to, legally, we could exit our lease and get a whole new building. And explain why we could do that. We'll get into the legal stuff to get ourselves into trouble. This is a breach of a contract. Correct. So this is the ability us. to go, you know what, based on this, we can now go, we're out. And at the end of the day, I'm sure the landlord wouldn't care because he'd probably get more money for it after, it'd be newer, modernized and all that. So we could go find a new building. And right now the market's bad for commercial real estate. Is it really? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty soft. Deal. This building right now is probably $2.8 million. Yeah. 2.6. Yeah. The whole building, we can get all the units no. for 2.8? Just this one unit. Your mortgage would be $35,000 a month. The rent's a third of that. Why would you buy it? Yeah, so we're staying here, guys. <laughs> or no, no, we, we go look around. Or we're gonna go look at buildings. We go look at, I, I don't know, I'm actually serious right now. Should we go look at other opportunities? Because we could just find a new Technically, HQ. Technically, if we're moving all that crap out of there, Everything and has all to all that stuff out of here. Basically. And all these cars have to move out of here. We're moving out. We're, we're, we are basically, you know what guys? We're basically moving out anyways. If we can find something better, then what's, well, what's better? do that. What well, is that's a better? serious question. So better space. would be a big gated parking lot. That's Burn yard. Yes. Oh shh, I have an idea. Oh my God, I have yes. an idea. Oh my God. You wanna take over the other building? Yes. <sighs> oh shit. I never even thought of that. I like how you just said that. It's the next day. It's been 24 hours since first half of this video talking about the shop. And it's been literally a whirlwind of emotions as far as like, honestly, what do we do? This is a serious problem. There's no real good solution. The biggest issue is the fact that we can't work on cars for a few months. That's gonna really mess things up. So do we sublet a temporary location for now? Do we get out of California? Do we go to freaking Nevada and move? I bet I get a bigger shop there, but there's no state taxes. I don't know. Honestly, if it was up to us, we just leave it like this. Like, whatever, deal with it. But the city's requiring it. It's not up to the landlord, it's up to us. The city's like, no, you have to do this. Do we stay or do we go? I mentioned earlier in the video, there is one option that I don't want to say whose building it is, but there's a building available right now. That would be amazing. I don't think pull it off or not. But again, I can't say whose it is, I can't get the details, but that'd be really cool. If that doesn't work out, find a new lease. Well, what would we want in a new building? More we'll make something bigger, we'll make something the same size. Yeah. More space, like Obviously, getting the cars on and off the lifts here is a nightmare because it's yeah. so narrow. But then you have to think like, are we gonna sell merch? Are we gonna do events? We're we gonna have car shows. That's all gotta be thought about before you find a spot. Maybe it's time to really do a big expansion. Getting this place was such a bitch. You guys know, you remember the videos. Like, to get approved for a lease took two months. It was so stressful. We had to pay eight months rent up front. Yeah. It took us like 200 grand to get in the door. Yep. We spent $80,000 on the floors. 20,000 on lighting, 20,000 on electrical upgrades, all the way from the shop, the offices, the floor in the offices, yeah. all the paint work. So we're having this conversation and I'm just guessing that people are gonna be commenting, why don't we just move to my shop? It's kind of a possibility, but my shop is absolutely packed, not just with my cars, but with some of my old customers' cars that are paying for storage. In the meantime, like we could ditch the trailer and the truck and the Hummer over there. We could probably put the F12 over there, but as far as like all these cars and like space to work, it's not ideal at all. Worst case scenario, that's what we're gonna have to do. 
Worst case. We have nowhere else to go. We can't just shut down. We can't not do anything for two months. This, we want to take a two month vacation. I want to hear from the audience because honestly, we read the comments and it makes a big impact. Or if you're a commercial real estate agent, you have an idea in California, let me know. Do we suck it up and just make it work, piece it together? We obviously do all this stuff for you guys. Like all this, we don't sell anything. This is just to make videos to pay for all this. So the journey we've created for you guys is why we're here today. And I will also just have to pause it. Like next year, we have so much crazy planned. We need an HQ. Yeah. Yeah, comment below. Should we fight to keep the HQ or do you find something bigger? I mean, this is this is about 7,000 square feet. What if we had 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 square feet? What if we got an old Costco sized building and made an indoor mess around area? I mean, okay, anything's okay, possible. Yeah. It comes down to time and money. Maybe it's worth the investment. We have lots of new sponsors coming on board. Yeah, we'll start a GoFundMe. You get started on OnlyFans. I'll show my penis for money. Yeah. You buy <laughs> Yeah, singles, where you been on the weekend, Tim? <laughs> Okay, we looked at some options if we have to move. And an option I found is this building right here. 20,000 square feet, look at the parking lot. What could you do in that parking lot, Tim? Any ideas? Um, park some cars. No, Tim, you do more <laughs> than that. You've all? Maybe a carnival. You could do a donut. See, there's massive parking lot. You could spin the car on a few times. There's lots of room on the inside. It's got a small issue, okay? <laughs> it's east of LA. How so east of LA? No, oh, it's, it's east, east of LA. LA. Do you think gamble? Do you like the slot machines, dinner, drinks, a show, the U2 concert in Sapphire, the F1 race, the Super Bowl in February? <laughs> Atlantic City. Close. It's in Las Vegas. I know uh, Mike wants to live on a boat. Can he uh, live on a boat there? No sea, man. On a trailer. Would you, got, <laughs> would you guys consider moving to Las Vegas? Yes. There's no state taxes on your income tax, so your paychecks would be higher by 8.5%. There's no rules in Las Vegas. You can do whatever you want. You can brandish a weapon in public when you're angry. That's not true, is it? I'll be selfish for a second. Where we live in Canada, Kelowna specifically, there is now a direct flight from Kelowna to Vegas. So for us, it's no big deal. We don't live here. For the boys, then would you move to Las Vegas? Sure. Why not? For the right price. Oh my God, no. Pay cuts, you guys. It costs more money. You get paid 8% less and you get 8% more. That's how it works. So this building is uh, $20,000 a month. Two acre parking lot with a trailer on it and an other trailer on it. And a trailer park behind it. You'd have your own Jim Kahana course. And we could just do some buildings on here. We build the cars in California. So we use Mike's shop to build the cars. Okay, we get this and build a small building on it for storage and then just have a ground area. Oh my God, look at it. It's $14,000 a month, dude. It's about the same as this. What if, what if, what if, what if? That's what if we did this? We got that and we kept this and that was just our spot we wouldn't have fun. Trips to Vegas, once a week. The dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys, should we do that? Should we get our own burn yard? Could we do that there? It looks pretty, holy shit, these terms negotiable. I cannot show Damon this right now, he'll lose his mind. Blah! Blah! <laughs> so much damage! There's the strip of Las Vegas. We have our own massive parking lot, and it's all industrial. The last place had the trailer park, this is all industrial. This is even better. This is basically an adult playground. Well, that's actually what Vegas is, and the bunny ranches. But this is an adult playground for car guys that are faithful to their wives. Right? Right? Yes. Right? Absolutely. How much is this one, do you think? <laughs> Maybe it's cheaper. $15,000 a month. I'm not joking right now. Maybe we need to do this to have our own spot to go have fun. Keep this shop here in LA. You guys can, you don't have to move. You guys can build the cars, and Damon and I will just go to Vegas permanently to do donuts in the parking lot. <laughs> this would make Damon really happy. This one is right by the freeway. It's got a huge parking lot. And a billboard. 21. Yeah, we could put whatever we want on oh, that. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's, uh, how big is the building? 21,000. 21,000 square feet. It's three times the size of what we have now. It has a parking lot. The question would be, would they let us do dumb like what Hoonigan does at their spot? They're offering four months rent free. The good news we have right now is the market is trash for commercial. So we're in a much better spot to negotiate now than we were when we got to this place. This is a contender. <laughs> All right, guys, it'll be a late night here, searching the internet to find the future home of daily driven exhaust. That's awful. 56K? What do you got? What do you think about oh, this? Oh, that's amazing. Where is it? This is actually in LA. This is- Where in LA? LA? No one in LA looks like, like that. LA, yeah, Idaho? Idaho? No way, no way. <laughs> Utah or somewhere. No, no. This, ah. That's Florida. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. What do you got? All right. 
fast. How fast do you want to initiate? Imagine how fast. Holy! <laughs> what is that? Is this a parking lot? It's uh, 209 trailer spaces of storage. Bro, San Bernardino. <laughs> I found something you're not gonna like. It's gonna need a little bit of pavement, <laughs> but you'll have a parking lot. You have 41,000 square feet. Holy, oh, it's just a parking lot. Well, there's a building right there. Mark, it's $42,000 a month. But look at the parking lot. We'll where's, have where's, to put some pavement down. It's in Chino. Yeah. Oh, it's not paved. No. Okay, you can, you've been, yeah. You guys, maybe we seem to stay in this building. I don't know. You guys would like a, a parking lot, right? Like the parking lot shenanigans. <laughs> we got a gas what station. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just, just close the public and don't turn the parking lot. That'd be so sick. How come you guys only film videos at gas stations now? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> For those R's, bro. How much does it cost to lease a gas station? Let's find out. That's pretty sick. Twelve grand a month. Can we lower the price? I think it is. <laughs> what do we do? Love you guys, we'll figure it out. Don't go anywhere. Comment below if you have ideas. If you know of a really cool spot, let me know. Or maybe overreacting. Maybe this one will actually be a month and won't be a big deal. But I'm worried right now about the worst case scenario is that we're all shut down for six months. We'll see you in the next vlog.